And hello everybody, welcome to the next, video, next video for Let's Play Euro Truck Simulator 2. I'm back again. Today we'll be doing a uh, load from Paris to Liege, Pong Tomatoes. Last time we got a new transmission, so let's put the, the transmission to the test. Let's see how well the thing can actually work. Well, how well it's actually going to improve things anyway. Oh, me, I drive hard, you know. Drive, drive like I stole it. <laughs> Interesting that they're calling a FedEx truck full of tomatoes, you know. FedEx is a shipping company. He's here in the States, I don't know if it's, it might be worldwide. Of course, remember back when they had the um, UPS strikes? UPS is a competitor to FedEx. Um, Joke, running joke with then was did you hear that FedEx bought UPS? Yeah, you know what they call the company? Fed up. <laughs> uh, might, might, might be a purely American joke, I don't know. I might get it. I hope you do. So, anyway, this is a five hour draw, draw but not too bad. And we'll be turning in a minute here. Doing some back road driving. Oh, that's going to be not so much fun. But I'm going to speed a little quicker, but that might be because I have a lighter load. <laughs> uh, I don't know if it's lighter or not. I don't, I've been paying attention to the weights. And I got a street light out in the middle of no place. Come on, turn green, turn green. There we go. Oh, got to turn here. Shoot. I think I was in the other lane there. That would have been pretty bad. <laughs> Back road driving in the dark. Uh, boom. On the high beams here, I'm going to see where the hell I'm going. about that, but, well. Uh, yeah, I mean, um, a lot of curvy roads, and this road has no center divider. That makes things interesting. Sorry about that, boy. back roads a little bit slower than I do with the main highways. Just because all the curves are steep or more, you know, tighter turns. And got a inter oop, well not an intersection is it? Okay, it's a freeway. Be careful the freeways anyway, because on this this game, they don't stop coming off the off ramp. They just keep going, you know, like Which is bloody annoying, you know. Again, one of those American things where East I know for here. Whoa, hold on point, where'd you come from? Almost had a almost got like a big car coming in my in my lane. <laughs> so but yeah, in America we we'll come to the end of the off ramp, we'll stop, make sure traffic is clear, then we'll proceed. <laughs> Off ramps have to have lights too, which is make sure you stop. <laughs> so, see, you got three quarters of a tank of fuel, doing good on that. Mostly the new DLC is all about is a lot of the roads are like this. They're two lane highways, which I think you call B roads. Oh crap. Train. I remember 
first time I come across one of these train tracks, I didn't see the guy ahead of me and plowed into him so hard, he knocked the guy ahead of him into it, and so on and so forth, and had a car across the tracks. <laughs> Which, thankfully, the train apparently is a phantom object, so it did right through the car, no big deal, but whoops, you know, like, like a ping pong ball, you know? The bunga 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 bunga. Whoops! Uh, sorry about that, boy. <laughs> You're not a train trial, you know. Deeper, you know, sharper curves, but I hate slowing down. Really, really hate doing it. You know, I'm a trucker. I got time, I got time to do this crap. I gotta get deliveries done in time and stuff like that. No time to slow down or anything. Funny story one one time I tried to skip past this one time I by following the guy ahead of me so close and get through both through at the same time and it didn't work. Got stuck halfway through and the bars could bang it down on top of my truck and like whoops <laughs> and I got stuck I had to go call a tow truck get myself out of that mess. The reams and mets that way, no. Going down this way a little bit further and making a left. I mean, come right off to slow down, keep going. So, toward Lille and Br Brussels. Cool. <laughs> Crap. Damn it. Getting that dam the damage thing, but still damn annoying. Don't need a rest stop, don't need fuel, some good impulse counts. Coming 
Explorer folks, no choice. copyright strikes, you know. Speaking of, um, I got, where's the part where I got, did I mention yet? I didn't mention yet, did I? I read a video of it, but then never posted it. <laughs> I got partnered to a new group, well, not new, they're not going to take home new, but, um, but do a YouTube partner program thingy with some big people, including Seth Bling, which blew my mind, like, whoa, he's part of this group? And, you know, I can't look at discuss the terms of what, you know, come agreed upon and all that in the contract, but, um, you know, I haven't really seen much happen with that lately, but I'll have to talk to them at some point, see what's going on. <coughs> come on, thank you. Eight euros, huh? Sixteen dollars. Good thing to come out of that. We will see. Yeah, um, right now, my channel is dead. Which I think my channel right now, you know, just pff, dead. You know, I think I don't really post much videos normally. It's make a um, big thing for me having like, ten videos in two weeks. You know, which is my, my goal for five videos a week if I can get, keep it up. Great, you know. Brussels and Liege? Okay. Like Brussels, like Brussels sprouts? <laughs> so I'm pretty sure they hear that joke all the time and probably get pissed about it. <laughs> I mean, they're, sprouts are alright. I mean, not the greatest thing on the planet, but I'll tolerate them if I have to eat them, you know? I'm sure kids are like, eh, Brussels sprouts, yuck. Like, <laughs> That's the kind of thing, finally, when you get older, though, your tastes change as you get older. I found out the hard way, like, as a kid, I didn't like onions. Um, now I don't mind them, you know, I, I like them cooked, at least. You know, if you cook them right, I don't mind them at all. Actually, I like, enjoy onions and stuff like that, you know. But, um... I like cherries as a kid because I had a lot of medicines or cherry flavored medicines as a kid. It's like, ugh, trying to represent, you know, tend to associate the cherries with yuck medicines. And actually, the more modern medicines taste a bit better at least, you know. Like, wait, if I'm a, like cherry, like onion, now, what else? Like, too, coconut, another one I didn't like as a kid. Now you like the coconut, which is weird, you know. And I was actually a pretty surprise. I grabbed a bag of M&M's off a you know, candy shelf and tossed on the counter thinking, right, almond, almond M&M's, and uh, no, they're coconut M&M's. You know, until I got up the bag and took a chew out of them, like, huh, what the, not almonds. Oh, okay, coconut, well, not too bad. Let's, you know, try other coconut items, let's see if that translates. And we're going to have to re aren't I? Of course. So, yeah, it's up Luxembourg, and something. Let's see, Luxembourg and Lyric, I think. Now I'm going to look that up now. I'll figure out, I'll do that between vids, so we do the next video. Give me a dodger on all the slow traffic here. Another thing I did, I 
you know, expressed my anger on that sort of thing before, so I'm not going to go into details on that. Did not repeat ourselves, you know. Okay, coming up a hill. And frankly, I don't really see much difference in the two transmissions, but oh well. I'll stick with it. Maybe I go back. Do that one at one point maybe if I get them you know, enough money. Go back and uh, save before a run. Put in the new, new transmission. Do the run with new transmission and without old transmission and see the difference. If you have any exact this circumstances, so it might be more apparent. We do 70 through here. Well, I'm doing only 54, so we're doing good. No, it's probably it's just my else kilometer per hour, which is a lot slower than mile per hour. Uh, colon and reach leash. Oh, yes I do, okay. 
he left or crashed into the barricades over there. That would be embarrassing. We had done it a few times, we got distracted and like, whoops. Five hours, 173 liters of fuel. We got uh, quite a bit of money and quite a bit of experience. Not quite level four, but I'm getting there. So let's see. World map. Oh yes, this is that type of community, isn't it? So I go back highway to the. Right, get off the first one. Repair is there, and one discoverable thing there. Okay. A uh, town like this, I can get the wall because they're split. Now, the little green thing on the left side there, I'll drive past to show it up. Off. Motherfucker. Anyway, where was I saying we got interrupted by a car coming in the side of me? Oh, right. That green symbol there is where you can buy a garage. We'll be going to know more about that later. I actually have the money to actually start upgrading, which I might just take a big loan out and do. That's going to give me 200000 Upgrade my garage, 180 thou. Another 100 thou for another truck and a higher driver. Come on, asshole. Move. Move. Stop. Ah, damn it. A little bit faster, we could go through the green light. No, we gotta go slow. Ugh. Having drivers. So, 400,000 to upgrade and add one driver. Yeah, let's see if we can knock down this loan a little bit more. Would be helpful though, having the driver, you know, to. make me money. Driving free, I tend to be a little more hot rodding, you know? I don't have all the weight in the back to slow me down. <laughs> okay, onto the freeway, back towards the other half of the leash. And over there, we got the repair, the repair shop. At most, 56. Downhill, I can do up to 60. I've done that a few times. Yeah. 
What? It's yellow, not red, motherfuckers. With yellow, I get they got linear texture with yellow, not red, motherfuckers. Freaking cops ripping me off. For money? Shit. Off, uh, almost four grand for pairs. Ouch. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna put level yet, so no point. Jobs available. Uh, job market. Freight market. I'm going from Liege in Belgium. Glass panels. Back to Paris. Strasbourg. I'm going to Mannheim. With logs. Short drive. Continue going forward to going back. You know, this is a fragile, it's gonna be a little bit more. Um, but nah, let's do the log one. So I'll go back to Paris. I'll continue going to places I've been yet. Mannheim's a nice place, Germany, you know. So let's go do some logs. You can log a few miles, right? I know, bad pun. Log a few miles. Eh, well. Let's clear back on the other side, right? Of course. 37 miles, or 58 minutes. Yeah, right. <laughs> you do 37 miles in about 30 minutes or less. May I drive? <laughs> Thing turns green. <laughs> uh, yellow, then green. Back to the other side of the leash, so another, er, another check going in or going out on a ledge. Hmm, nice. Yeah, going past um nearly half a leash, so I'm not sure where we're going. <laughs> but we'll be there in about 40 about 20 minutes or so. So let's get over. And on the road well, on the road again. Driving free, well, a trailer. Pushing the truck to its limits on speed. And we're getting off for the next, okay, let's get over. Toward Luxembourg.
Ah, oh, that's where we're going, right over there. Sweet. Alrighty. Anybody coming? Nope. Sweet. load. We have a five hour drop again. And so it's been about a half an hour now. I'll just let you guys go here. And we'll do this next video. <laughs> I'll park up here at the end. Alright folks, see you in the next video. We have a great day and talk to you later. Goodbye.